Good morning, Hand. I'm Mike Viziello, and this is... Where's Andrew? Coming, coming! Oh, sorry, so sorry. Good morning, Hand. I'm Andrew Graminski, and this is Tiger Talk. Sorry I was late. I needed to get an outfit to fit my personality. Funny you mentioned outfits, since over the years, teens all around have had a problem with outfit stereotypes, being instantly judged upon appearance. Well, in the end, Mike, it's not about the outfit, but the person behind that outfit. Clothing and fashion are both ordinary and extraordinary. People wear clothing every day in an attempt to express themselves. However, this begs the question, do the clothes we wear truly define us? Tina, baby, why do you dress the way you do? To impress the other cheetahs. Because society suppresses my emotions and forces me to. Mark, do your clothes define your personality? I'd say so. How? Just look at these socks. Mac, do your clothes define you? Absolutely. How? Check it out. With styles such as preppy, sporty, punk, and hipster, people can express themselves in so many different ways. But in the end, the clothes we wear don't limit us to who we are as people. Fashionable student Ben Stopka. You know, Katie, I don't think my clothes define me at all. I think I define my clothes. When I wake up in the morning and I throw on sweats and Cookie Monster pajamas, I'm comfortable. Wearing different things doesn't define me as preppy or hipster or just plain lazy. It defines me as me. With so many different swaggy style options, you better enjoy it while you have it, or else you might end up like Mrs. Walker. From the halls of Danny Hand, this is Katie Marsh reporting. Yo, Salmon and Blue, we're soulmates, man. Now, Andrew, you never fail to touch my heart. Hey, you know, Andrew, you know what would be really, really good right now? Some taffy. Wow, this is some great taffy. Speaking of taffy, Taffy Bowes, Assistant Director of Madison Ethan Family Services, is retiring after 26 years. She has led many groups, such as peer advocates and several others, touching the hearts of numerous students here at hand. We are fortunate enough to have Taffy Bowes on the set with us today. She will be interviewed by our correspondent, Sandy Barra. Good morning, Hand, and good morning, Taffy. Hi, Sandy. <laughs> when officially will you be leaving us? I will officially retire from all of the group stuff on the 31st of January which is a Saturday, which gives me a day to clean my office. <laughs> Why do you do what you do pertaining to the communities you help? I love high school kids. They're my absolute favorite population on the planet. Um, there's an energy and an intensity and, you know, the, the, the cares are greater and the excitement is greater than at any other time, I think, in our lives. And I really love walking with kids as they go through that period of their lives. So sure, it's the energy that. and the love. Um, I just love your age group. I, if you're put on the earth to entertain me and challenge me. <laughs> so what are you going to miss most about your students here at Handel or the people you work with in general? Yeah. Um, I'm going to miss watching people grow from being like eighth and a half graders, which is what I see people ask when they come in as freshmen, to like ready to launch and go out and have adventures, mm -hmm. bigger adventures than they, they might have here. To sum up your wisdom, is there, in all your years of experience, a singular message or philosophy that you live by and would like to share with the community or something along those lines? It's supposed to matter that you were here, you know, and it's supposed to matter in a good way. Mm -hmm. And your, your life is supposed to be about passing forward what you learned here at home and what, what gifts you've been given and what talents you've been given. So when you hear that from the time you're like three or four or five mm -hmm. or six years old, it's kind of like a piece of how I've tried to operate. Mm -hmm. um, I have a, uh, a friend of mine died fairly recently, and one of the things that he drove around with in his car was a post-it note that he had right up on his um, visor. And it said, now. And he said, that's what you've got, is the now. Anything that happened yesterday is, still in, is in your mind. Anything that happens tomorrow is in your imagination. What you have to operate in is the now. And I think that that's the piece that a lot of times high school kids don't have time to think about because high school has come to be regarded as like the waiting room for college. Mm. <laughs> and in this community, the waiting room for college, not the waiting room for what do you dream about being in the future yeah. if it's a skydiver. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So I, I think it's the, I think for all of us, it's this, it's big stress, but it comes in different ways, and I would say a lot of it is from being unable to appreciate the now. 
I think we'd like to thank you and all the students you've helped would love to thank you for your years of service, um, unwavering loyalty and dedication. Well, thank you. Kathy has impacted the lives of many students and will forever be remembered in the mass and community. <laughs> wow. I wish somebody I could reach the hearts of many people for the better, just like Taffy. Well, maybe, Mike, you can try singing. There are many other students here at hand who have hidden singing abilities. Like who? Max Onoroff, Daniel Hans' unsung hero, who you may know for his sonic parkour and being the only male cheerleader. Mm. Let's take this to the Jade and discover his hidden talent. When did you learn that you could sing? Uh, about five or six months ago, my best friend, I don't know if she's watching right now, love you mom if you're watching, uh, she told me that I should start singing more often. Uh, where do you sing? Mostly in front of my mom. Do you think you can sing a little bit for us? Uh, I could actually. Whoa, when gravity is working against me. When gravity wants to bring me down. Wow, man, he can really sing and play that guitar. He sure can. Well, that's all for today, Hand. I'm Michael Viziello. And I'm Andrew Gaminski. And sing on, Danny Hand.